Tomatoes often stand on one leg, a pose as iconic as their pink feathers. You might wonder why they hold this unusual posture. Researchers note that flamingos do this for long periods, especially when resting or napping. They can even sleep this way with their head tucked under their wing. The surprising reason is energy conservation. Flamingos have special leg tendons and ligaments that can lock in place. When one leg is raised, the bird needs almost no muscle effort to stay balanced. Dr. Paul Rose explains, If you're a flamingo, you're going to want to sleep on one leg, as you can activate this locking mechanism, and just stay there. In short, one leg feels more stable and effortless than two. You may have heard the old idea that it's to stay warm. While it's true flamingos wade in cold water, they actually have a built-in heat-saving system in their legs. A special counter-current blood flow warms blood returning from the feet, so keeping one leg down isn't needed for warmth. Another factor. Flamingos can sleep with half their brain awake. Scientists found a curious reflex. As a flamingo dozes, it naturally lifts one leg, almost like a bodily instinct. The planted foot keeps balance while the other rests. Zoo experts even say it might simply feel comfortable. There's really no good explanation, notes one curator. We think that simply it's more comfortable. After all, it seems to suit the bird's unique build. Their anatomy helps too. What looks like a knee is way up near the body, and the ankle can snap and lock. This lets a flamingo rest easily on one leg without much effort. Flamingos aren't the only ones. Many wading birds like ducks and storks also do this. We just notice flamingos more because their legs are so long and pink. In summary, standing on one leg is a clever resting strategy. It lets flamingos stay safe and conserve energy in the water. It's not yoga, it's just nature's design. If you enjoyed learning about flamingos, please like, share, and subscribe for more nature wonders. Thanks for watching. Keep exploring the world of wildlife. The more we observe, the more we understand. See you next time.